You know, they used to say Bianca Sele Sele growing up. Welcome to another episode of Moments in Time. It's your girl, Bianca Sele Fatela Hennessy. If you heard the beginning, it's fine. It's all good. But you know what you got to do. Say the whole thing like a trap called Quest. I'm joined today, of course, by my co-host, Mr. Manum Tembo. What's good? Yes, I said when I'm in Jadika Blambo, I'm Tembo. Add to Manum Tembo. It's nice to have a spin as a corner foot. I'm Sanjay. Salikum Nandi, like, ah, yeah. Salikum Nandi, like, important today. Yes. We've got Mr. Andile Yanana. Oh, Banike Yanambo? Legendary. Eh, eh. Living legendary is now in South Africa. Yeah, boy. Also, I'm from Shavawonke internationally. Yeah, come on. Also, I'm from big internationally. Yeah, come on. Even I'm from the but I'm not great. No, I'm not great. No, I'm not great. I'm not great. I'm not great. I'm not great. I'm not We've got our guy in the shadows, Mr. Kuss Divers, before he sells. I'm not great. Yes, he has entered us. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yenana, you can Google him. I'm not great. 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 I'm not Thank you. Very, very glad to have you here today. So, as usual, we have our backdrop here, Moments in Time. It's become mm. our thing. Mubuge episode, yeah. But today, there's something different. What's up with that? It's because there was an exhibition held yesterday, like Emma Gate Museum. What was, what was your role with yesterday? Big wins. I exhibition. Um, Isolo, um, there was um, a beautiful, um, I don't know, they kept calling him a young boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and at some point they forgave themselves and they called him a young man. Yes. Um, his name is Tembela. Yes. Um, I don't know, um, he's a, just an amazing um, artist, really, mm. from Kamalake, from the South Coast. Um, he's raised here in the South Coast, and um, this is what he put out. Wow. Um, yeah, he told so all me of this is his work, essentially. It's his work. He says it took him three years to to gather all of the stuff, and I was like, "Wow, man! For three years, you've been social distancing." Yeah, yeah. he's been quarantined. Did you really have a life? He <laughs> says he was just <laughs> doing yes. the stuff, dealing with ash and. Wow, and I didn't realize that all of this was his. You yeah. know that painting? Oh, well, drawing looks like my yeah. cousin. It's her birthday today. <laughs> but I need to ask her come like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I've been in I wasn't here yesterday mm-hmm. for the show. So, mm-hmm. so what was your role with with the exhibition? Is all. Well, I, I, I just, I just was bringing in the, the music element uh, mm. to the whole thing. Um, you know, um, you know, museums and, and galleries have also been part of, of what music, you know, is about. They've become safe havens for us to, to be able to express ourselves with the music as well. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no venues. There's not a lot of venues for music, you know, um, with, with the COVID now that is, you know, ravaging and, and, and also... Um, so we we found the space, mm. the museum, and we've been doing gigs here as well. So we're part of what is happening here. Uh, yes. it, it's it's going to grow um, yes, yes. music and the, and the it's visual It's a community. Art, you know, it's a community, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we know that your career started in 1968, and sure. that, that is a long time ago. <laughs> so I can't imagine the different types of uh, new world orders you've experienced uh, prior to COVID and mm. the pandemic and these mm. weird changes. Um, so uh, 1968, uh, who is Mr. Andile Nana? Where are you from? Okay, yo, 1968 is quite far away, ne? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I was born in 1968. Apparently, it, it was quite a... Internationally, I mean, it was quite a, a revolutionary mm-hmm. um, time, you know, 68 is revolutions, e, 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 e. youth revolutions in Europe yep. and stuff like Lots that. Lots of so, surprises. Um, yeah, I was born in 68. I was born in King Williamstown um, as a Licha. I, you know, I'm one of five uh, siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, number about it. Number four. <laughs> number four. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I write that, you know. Um, um, you know, it's a typical situation of, of just growing up as a as a black child, you know, yeah. in, in a township um, with all the, you know, what we all know about the situation and mm. um, apartheid in those yeah. days. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 and working parents and, 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 and just finding your way. And, and also, I mean, if you're lucky, then 
you know, you learn from your siblings, um, your older siblings, and you follow, yes. you emulate what they do. They also learn from other people in the community that they, you know, they think that, you know, will bring something of substance to their lives. Mm. Um, so it was a combination of those things. And then music came into the picture as well because mm. um, we had a piano at home. Okay. And my older brother also was, was, was into music and, and drawing and art and all of that stuff. So I, I picked up pretty much a whole lot of things that he did. Yeah. Just mimicked whatever he was doing. He played football. I played football as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I grew up also in boarding schools, in Catholic boarding schools, because the church also played a role. Um, my mom kind of directed us towards the church because yes. it, was, it was a safe haven for, mm. for us because there was turmoil in the house, you know. Mm. Um, mm. Um, so going to the church you know, was, was the best place for us to be. Yeah, um, nice uh, And escape. I ended up in Marin Hill, in Pine Town, the um, St. Francis College. I studied there for three years, and then I finished off in Umtata in another seminary, Zingisa Seminary. It was mm. an all-boys school. Mm. And then uh, I went to Forte for two years, you know, started music there. I mean, formally learning how to write and read music. So what year did you go to Forte? It was 80, 88 and 89. 88, mm. okay. Yeah, and then, and then I had to leave there because then my brother was, was at Natal University then and he was seeing this program that was what was brewing at, at Natal University with Darius Brubeck. Um, mm. Mm. All the, I mean, now the leaders of, of jazz music I mean, in, in South Africa, most of them studied there. Mm. Zim Nawana, Fea Faku, um, mm. Victor mm. Masondo, Concord mm. Gabinda, all these guys. So mm. he said, okay, why don't you come over there? It's funny and, that you mentioned all those names because they all associated with you. If you search Andile and yeah. all those Back names pop up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those, those are the people that, 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 that kind of welcomed me when I was coming into the, into the program. Mm. And I learned a lot from them. Sazi Damini. Mm. Um, yeah, it was the place I mean, where I, I kind of found myself. In. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, and my father went went to St. Peter's. Um, uh, you know, this thing about the church also keeps coming back. He went into St. Peter's. That's that's the school where Huma Sekela and Guangwa and then mm. studied. So he was actually um, like a senior to them. Okay. And I grew up in that situation where he would be telling me all the time, you know, with, hey man, I went to St. Peter's, Huma Sekela was there, and all these people. And, and I never I quite believed what he was saying yeah. because, you know, he said it so often that I was like, no man, you know, why is it that I'm, I keep hearing this thing? Yeah. Until when I had already started my career in music and I bought this book of Huma Sekela and, you know, grazing, still grazing. And I read and I found out would see, a lot of the people that my father was telling me about, mm. they were in that book. And I'm like, wow, mm. man. So Full he probably was, was trying to live his life through me as mm. well and saying, look, you can go on. I mean, you know, you're into the music. And I, I played with Huma Sekela when he first came into the country in 1990. Mm. Um, he did a fundraiser in, in, at the City Hall in Durban. Mm. Mm. And I told him the story about my father. And he was like, wow, man, I remember him, Felix, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So he was, he was a major influence as well, my father. I mean, the music that he brought into the house, the records that he had. You know, we, we, these were, these were the, this is the stuff that we first listened to. Um, soundtrack of my life, if 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 if, if I were to call it that, yeah. mm. you know, and also the the music that my older brothers were were, were listening to as well. Um, mm. So I started becoming a DJ in 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 the family as well. Oh, who DJ? So you well, I mean, it's, it's when when people are, you know, there was parties at my house yes. every time, Allah. you know. I mean, <laughs> and then when everybody is a bit like yeah, you know, mm. soft and. 
and, we'll and, and and then I'll just go and 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 and, and put my selection, and then they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, there's another one, let's dance, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it was it was quite cumbersome mm -hmm. to to deal with that needle, you know. Um, yes, you know. the vinyl. Yeah, yeah. The, you know. So so if if you've had you know quite a few drinks, you might damage the. The, yeah, the, the yeah. So, expensive. Yeah, yeah, they were expensive because we used to order them, you know, sure. uh, Jobek and Kohino, so they used to come by post. So, yeah. you know, you make sure that, you know, you clean them properly. Yeah. Yeah, so sense. in the heat of things in, in the party, so, you know, you have to have like a steady hand exactly. to deal mm. with that. So I became that guy, you know, yes, that would just yes. go to track number two and just hit it like on the groove mm. and let it, you know, yeah, oh, wow. and everybody would just pop up and dance. Okay, let's come to 2002. <laughs> Uh, now we're talking just <coughs> Ooh, we used to dance take me through the journey to we used to dance because mm. that was the first project well, we used to dance was a tribute to that what was happening in my family mm. I mean I it was really 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 a dance mm. there was we extreme happiness at my house there was extreme extreme uh, pain as well mm. I, mean, I mean I mean there was you know problems with you know, my parents and stuff like that, which is something that everybody went through, mm, I mean, yeah. most of the black kids as well. Yeah. Um, the problem with, with, with alcohol abuse and, mm. and, and mm -hmm. all of that. And, um, and also the fact that my mom was quite a, a, an enterprising someone, I mean, somebody, and she was a business person. She never really worked for no one mm. um, in those days, and she just was thriving on her own. And I think my father was you know, having problems understanding that kind of power. And then there was all these power games that was, you know, that was at play in our mm. house. Mm. And also with, 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 with alcohol problems and, and all of that stuff. So there was, you know. That was your mirror, mirror for But then, and then there would be parties at the same time. Yeah. You know, and everybody you would bring forget. bring joy and even when it's like, like wow, yeah. let's just have a party. So it, it, was, it was just tribute. Mm. Okay. To to what was happening at, at, at in our in our home, we used yes, to dance. Yes, yeah. yes. So yeah. you, it's that, and then it's the next discography, two thousand and five. How did we? I mean, the next project in your discography, two thousand and two to two thousand two thousand and five. Uh, how did we go from that metaphoric expression of the reality of your household to uh, who's got the map? Were we lost, and what were we lost in, and how did we lose our journey? Uh, yeah, it was, it was, I mean, having gone through Forte, I mean, I was conscientized, you know, quite a, at an early age, dealing with student politics there, you know. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we, we did everything, and, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and 2005 was like quite a turmoil, I mean, it was a turbulent a situation in the country, you know. It was. I wasn't grateful. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. It was. There was a whole lot of stuff that was brewing, you know, mm. between the Mbeki camp and the Zuma oh, yes. camp oh, and all yeah. that stuff, and you yeah. could see that the ANC is just going to split in the middle. Mm. And and you so know, some you of us were just looking that? for leadership, really. Mm. And 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 um, who's I was got the I map? was in my early thirties at the time, yeah. and I was like, okay, who's so got you, the map? Yeah. yeah. You know, mm. where are we gonna go? Mm. You know, it was like that. I mean, even on the album, I did like find a mm. uh, like a map, like an old map, and just like put it in there. It's like, okay, you know, who's mm. gonna be Marco Polo or whatever? Yes. <laughs> 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 just take us somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was, it was um, is it a, a project with tracks, and how many tracks are in there? Um, it's. I think. Or it's, is it it's, like it's, an it's, extended it's, storytelling type of thing? In a way, in a way, it was. In fact, who's got the map? Was was songs? Most of the songs that I couldn't finish, I couldn't mm. put on the album from the first one. Mm, okay. So I was just able to, you know, put those quickly, and then and then and then dealt with other material that came mm. between that period. Mm -hmm. um, but but the way it's put together, it, it it does like kind of tell a story from one track to the to the to the to the last one. Um, mm. I've got tracks like South Central. Um, Do you ever get uh, to perform? Just looking at geographical locations yeah. and, 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 and all sorts of things. And, and, mm. <clears throat> and also, you know, um, relationships with the diaspora yeah. and, 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 and the struggles that have been waged there mm -hmm. and what it is that we are also, uh, you know, thinking, you know, as, 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 as South Africans as well in terms mm. of the struggle, I mean, you know. Yeah. So... Um, you've worked with Abantabani um, around the country, even internationally. But as far as I like, 
Yeah. You've worked with oh mama the late mama Sbongi Lo Kumalo, um Sutras Kusi. Yeah. Um there are many people that you've worked with. But mm-hmm. how was the experience uh, back then when you were working with such people? Because we were working as an arranger yeah. uh, for some of the uh, the project that we are working on. And also in two thousand and five and then you were selected as a young artist in the yeah. uh, standard bank yeah. uh, jazz. So can you share share with us that? Uh, oh man, it was exciting, man! A whole of that stuff just came at the same time. All of it just came like this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just came, and 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 some of it, I mean, I I tried to share it with my peers, and and some of it, I mean, my peers, I mean, some of them didn't even believe in it. It was mm, like, yeah. no, man, you're not supposed to be dealing with that. Mm. You're not young artists yeah. anymore. You're. A, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I mean, I had five nominations at, 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 at the Summer Awards oh, wow. with, with people like... Did you say like five? Five. five. That is yeah. incredible. Yeah. So five. what were your... What categories were those? I want to know. There was I a whole lot that. of them. I think they were just jumbled up, like, you know, to just make, I don't know, best male, best yeah. this, best... Uh, uh, with uh, Jimmy uh, Lulu. Uh, yes. I remember I was sitting in the front. Mm. I was like, okay, maybe if I sit in the front, they will probably call my name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you because for production's sake, you know, yes. they wouldn't want to have somebody that's coming from the back, yeah. you know what I mean? I didn't get nothing, man. I remember at some point on the fourth one, I'm like, okay, let me just get up and go. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah, and it, it just happened. I mean, I, I remember, who was the, who was the MC? It was... Um, it was one of the comedians. Yeah. Um, who was the guy? David Gao. David Gao. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They kept saying, Bass, what, what? Who's got the map? And it was yeah. like all over the that yeah. Sun City <laughs> arena. It's like, oh, yeah. who's got the map? I'm like, oh, yeah, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Just, 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 just get over with this thing. Let me just, you know, it's just so, it's a misery. Yeah, I didn't get anything. Mm. Mm. And I moved on. And I, and then, Coming from that, then it was the Young Artist Award that I got. Mm. Yes. Um, I didn't even prepare for that much. I mean, I already was was a was a recording artist. Yeah. yeah. I already have like two albums. The next thing I get this is like Young Artist Award. Um, I didn't really, really, really took it that seriously. Mm. Um, compared to the other people that 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 got it after me. Yes. Yeah. I mean, right up to Ubuntu Doos or. Makatini and yeah. mm-hmm. Africa in them. I mean, mm-hmm. it, there was a lot of money with them when yeah. they got it. Yes. Yeah. Um, when I got it, it was Other prestigious, stars. still prestigious, yeah. but somehow it just didn't mean a lot to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I had been mentored by a whole lot of people from when I was still at, you know, doing my second year adversity. I met Steve Dyer, who took me all over Zimbabwe and all these places. I mean, you know, places that I'd never thought I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd visit. Mm. And I mean, 93, I was, I was out in, in the States with, with mm. Zim, you know. <laughs> so I was like, my mind was just, you know, opening yeah. up into a whole lot of things. Mm. And, and to, get a, to get a Young Artist Award in 2005, for me, it was like, okay, maybe another feather in the cap, yeah. you mm. know. But I, 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 in hindsight, I, I could have maybe, you know, given it, yeah, yeah. Some, you know. <laughs> so you you. It's it's there. It's 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 you know. Yeah. I'm grateful that I got it. That's good. Of yeah. course, yeah. of course. We're always grateful for the yeah. journey. Yeah. Um. So you said '93, the states. So you've been to the states. And yeah. Where in USA and who have you gotten a chance to work with? What shows have you been part of and all of that? I was with Zim. It was with Zim Nawan. Um. He was invited to do. Um, a series of concerts and workshops at uh, Northwestern University in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I, I was with him. We've been, you know, doing that, that circuit in Chicago, I mean, with different people um, that believed in what Zim was doing and the mm. message, you know, in his music and stuff. Mm. Um, We've been like three times to Chicago, uh, mm. mostly being hosted by Northwestern University. And then after that, we were hosted by mm-hmm. another guy, Ennis Dawkins. Mm. Um, we did like more like um, non-governmental organizations kind of gigs in the city, yeah. Um, and we did workshops and stuff like that as well. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, which other countries <coughs> have you been able to visit with your with your craft? My with my first trip was also in in Norway mm. wow. in '96, just after I finished my 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 um, 
my degree. Yes. Uh, we taught Norway with them, and we recorded our first album in Norway. Oh. Um, okay. We okay. it was an outfit an outfit called um, South Africa Norwegian, mm. you know, mm. um, a collaboration kind of mm. thing. Um, they'd come here to South Africa with their prime minister. Yeah. Mm. It's just an amazing thing. I mean, some prime ministers travel with their musicians. Yeah. You yes. Know? I mean, I think it was it, 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 yeah. it's something that used to happen in the olden days, you know. Mm. The kings used to travel with the artists, I'm, mm. I'm told. So, was yeah, there a reason for they, that, or is it just the I, vibe that they had? I think they just wanted to showcase their culture as well. Mm. Um, uh, whilst, whilst, you know, like she'll be dealing with the politics and everything. Mm. Yeah. And then also the culture is, you know, it, it is happening. So we, mm. we, we did a tour with, with these musicians, wonderful musicians. This all is 96. 96. Mm. And then they went back and then they invited us to come over. And then mm. we did a whole tour of, 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 of Norway. Wow. Mm. And I've since been to Norway maybe three times from that experience mm. i yeah. mean zim also recorded his album there afterwards mm -hmm. in 98 and then i think our last tour was in 2000 um, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so f uh, from 2000 to now we are in uh, 2021 the, that's what how many years is that it's yeah. so 21 yeah. years yeah. Yeah. we have over to collect 1968 2000 yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 uh, you've yeah. taken us through that journey as collect 2000 from 2000 to now i've seen my influences are are there any changes in that did you find a, a, a shift from because i know you're predominantly jazz and yeah. motown but i know you draw from different places so uh, yeah um like like with steve die i mean steve die was playing you know, more like African sounds, African, you know, traditional music fused with jazz. Mm. Um, and because he had spent time in, 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 in Zimbabwe, he was, he went into exile. Mm. It's one of the musicians, the people that didn't want to serve in the, in the, in the army. Mm. Mm. And he ended up um, in Botswana and he was mentored by Jonas Gwangwa. And I when he went back to to South Africa, he came back in the 90s when the country was open. Yeah. He went to Natal University to kind of finish, you know, what he had started before he left. Mm. And he just met up with me and was like, hey, come over. I'm, I'm launching a, a, a band um, mm. from Zimbabwe. Mm. And I ended up in Joburg with him. Mm. Um, and then there was Zim at the same time. So they took me to different, I mean, I, I always look at my career as, and say, you know, I was just like hanging on people's coattails. Mm. They took me up to like dizzy heights. Mm. Uh, it was like a whirlwind, really. And then I, <laughs> for a while, I mean, I was just trying to find myself back to earth. Yes. Okay. Because it was just like, pff, what, you know, what, from a what young typically age. grounds you? Really? Yeah, it's like Dumbo. Yeah. There's a lot happening. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. my plan? What grounds you? Well, I mean, I had to also, I mean, when I started kind of, you know, having to deal with my own projects now, away from these mentors, mm. I would, you know, I, I can't continue to shine in other people's, um, you know, um, light, mm. you know. Um, then I had to kind of dig into my own um, reserves and, and, and also the fact that I was dealing with, you know, other people in the band that I had to lead. Mm, mm. So I had to kind of lead by example and kind of dig deep within myself and, 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 and find out what it is that I want to put on the table. Mm. And, and, and I went through a whole lot of stuff I mean, in that process. Yeah. Um, you know, honing my skill, practice hard, and you know, discipline and all of that. Mm. Um, and that's how I found my grounding. You yeah. know, in, 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 in hard work and, and, and also just, you know, dealing with all my fears as well as, as, as a musician. With, hey, can I stand for this? Am I good enough in front of the people mm. now that the mentors are no more? Mm. You know, mm. and mm. yeah, and it's, it's been that kind of journey. Mm. Um, and then I kind of gotten other gigs of, you know, that also demanded discipline and, 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 <clears throat> and just dedication and just belief in yourself, mm. believing in yourself. I mean, if you're just being asked to, to, do, to be a producer for a big name, mm. like, like Sutugaz Rahosi, for yeah. instance, 
Um, and Winston Mankunku, who is the father of South African jazz. I was about to say, you've rubbed shoulders with some really important people in yeah. music history. It was because of what was happening at Sheer Sound at, as well, because mm. they, <clears throat> they were like a, a major independent label mm. <clears throat> from like, 19, like 2000 right up to 2010. Mm. A whole lot of musicians came through that stable. Mm. Um, they ventured out into a whole lot of things. I mean, from from your jazz to your house, like your house yeah. and all mm. the other DJs that mm. were coming in. I mean, I just forget their names, yeah. but it was a big, big thing that was happening at the time. So I, I was part of that, and, and, mm. and, and you know, it helped, you know, kind of shaped a whole lot of other things with my career as well. So mm. as as, as <coughs> you're a lecturer at Gamalaki Campus, um, SIT, yeah. uh, Tivet College. Um, so can you share with us um, the experience about music? Like, you see this one. And I'm proud of And There's something in a Yeah, that's a great question. When did you start teaching? Uh, when did I start teaching? I, I've been teaching since since I I I, I started leading my own bands, mm. Mm. because then there was a time when I I had to play with younger musicians. Mm. Um, Being an experience. Yeah, then mm. it began there. I mean, and I found myself good. I, I have time mm. to just work with young people, and and from there, I mean, I I f there's a whole lot of musicians now out there in Joburg that are on their own now that have come through, you know, what I've done. So coming to Kamalake in the South Coast was just like a formality, really, but mm. okay, now you're becoming a teacher. Yes. You have a pencil number, <laughs> you, you're in the system. Yeah. I remember when I first came here, there's my colleague um, that was driving me and then his cell phone, there was like this beeping and stuff, beep, beep, and I'm like, okay, you're not answering your phone. She says, no, I know, it's the bank, they want their money. It's, it's, the, <laughs> <laughs> it's the debits, you yeah. know? I mean, I didn't know about that. I, mm -hmm. Before then, I was just a musician that, yeah. you know, you, know you, you, earn, you earn your keep wow. just from playing, and then, you know, if it's in your pocket, if it's in the bank, it's fine. I mean, you know, mm. until I came here, and all that formality then, you know, it had to, you know, I mean, um, you know, that's what led to me um, to, to, to looking at myself as, you know, like in a different way now. Yeah. At some point, I was like, okay, let me forego the whole thing about being a musician. Let me focus on this. But then there was a couple of people saying, no, 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 no don't, don't, don't do that. You had to find a balance between the two. Don't lose yourself mm, in this teaching mm, business. Mm, mm. And I've kind of struck a balance yeah. with, with, you know, as I'm like growing into this thing as well. Mm. Um, there's a couple of students there. Um, I, I, what I've done, I've, I've kind of encouraged them to not just settle with the 18 months that they deal with at, at the TVET College. Yeah. It's a good program. It's meant to, to deliver um, within 18 months. Peop, you know, young people are supposed to get into the market. Mm. Yeah. And, but with, with music, 18 months, really, you're dealing with someone that has never seen the piano for the first, I mean, in their lives. It's a lot of mm. pressure. Um, it's a lot of, you know, uh, and, and, and it, it just can't happen. So you have to do as much. But then I tell them, okay, after you finish, then you can go to university and, 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 and pursue yeah. this. And what I'm having now is a, a relationship with Unduduzo mm Makatin. -hmm. Okay. Uh, at at uh, at Forte, Forte yeah. yeah. Well, on the doors, I met him when he was young. Also, um, he used to come to my house, and I used to mentor him and stuff like that. We we got into a a, a TV show together um, called Lily Zella for SABC Two. Yeah. I was the musical director for that show. I know so that show. Was, you guys <coughs> watch that show, right? Yeah. Do, you, do you know that show? Chris? I didn't watch it, but I know it. <laughs> I used yeah, to watch I was it the musical di director oh, for that show. I've for, probably seen your name for like, like for like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> two years, I think. Mm. Okay. And Duduzo, you know, I brought him in um, to to do the second keys for me, and uh, you know, mm. so um, I'm happy that he's doing what he's doing now, and I'm happy that I'm able to also you know, continue with yeah. what I did with him, mm. you know, and say, okay, here is, is, 
you know, a feeder, you know, yeah. from here, they will come to you and I know that you will do well because you know what it is, you know, mm. uh, you know the importance of mentoring, mentorship cool. and stuff yes. like that. Mm. Um, others have gone to Natal University, Ulisho, Ulisho uh, Utoban from, from, from Ekamalak. Mm. Um, he's went to Natal University, he's finished his degree now. Um, and yeah, he's itching, he wants to teach, he wants mm. to contribute. Um, mm. There's, there's Ntlaga Azulu who came to me and mm. said, you know, he was into biology and he's like this wonder scientist. <laughs> but somehow, whenever he plays the piano, he just becomes so fulfilled. Yeah. Mm. But when he does the, the science stuff, he always gets these migraines and everything. Mm. I'm mm. like, hey, man, stop Following that science. Following your calling is important. Just right? get into this music thing. And yeah. he's big now in Durban. He's, 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 I mean, I've, I've got so much you know, hope yeah. for him. I mean, in the music, he's such a talent. Um, there's others that have gone to Johannesburg as well. Um, so it's like that conveyor belt yeah. that I try yeah. within 18 months to say amen, you know. That is why if you're getting this kind of spaces, mm. then you're able to, to invite them to come and perform with me because what I teach there is, is performance. Yeah. And without any performance spaces, then I mean, what, what we're doing really doesn't have any, you know, it won't have any meaning, you know. Yeah. So we try and open spaces for them to, to, to perform um, this is one of the places that we've also, you know, um, been been working at as well. So the community, all the projects are there. We are funding and then we send like you're pumping them like, hey, bamba la po forte, bamba la po invisible forte. You're laying the foundation. Yeah. 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 So how's the support um, from the community now, especially from the south coast? Based in Laogwa Manj, how's the support here mm. toward the music? or the art as a whole, do you get that support from people? Or in the Tumas Mele and Naming Hamba Nali Slate Sam if in Tole Long Atula Lo Kipushangala, how do you find the balance? Hey in Totumas Mele. That one is a is a is a, is a, I don't know, in the Tumas Mele and I can say it and get repeat the cool and jam of It's so sad, man. Yeah. Um you know, I was saying this uh, something uh, to uh, talent and uh, just just now. You know, as a teacher, you 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 at uh, Agazi, it's it's use uh, gate if 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 it's if if that's the word. You're dealing with kids that also are not empowered from their homes. Yeah. Um, by parents who are not empowered themselves. And and they come to you and it's like, okay, here's an institution. You know, I mean. I was fighting for the flag, for instance, there's a South African flag there that was mm. so tattered, it was torn, it was dirty. It was like, okay, let's just get a new flag mm. just to create some symbols of some, some kind of substance to what it is that we want to do. Yes. As elders, as, as, as educators, you know, I mean, you, you go at the gate there, you see like bottles of... Yeah of um, what you call a thing? Alcohol. <laughs> that particular brand of, of... Yeah, I see that brand, that yeah. blue one, Blitly. the green one. The green one, that's dominant. Heineken. Heineken. Oh, yeah. okay. Heineken and Castle Lights, one of the Yeah, things. it's just all over the show there. Yeah, it's mm. just all over. And I'm like, wow, all the teachers are just like, we're dodging these bottles to come into the school. And mm. this flag that's like lame flag, that's mm. like, it was like, what is this <laughs> thing that we're trying to do it's like here? Mm. It just doesn't make sense. Mm. And... You know, I've, I, I try to fight wherever I can, um, and I'm, I'm, I don't know, I, wanna, I don't want to say I want to give up. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Um, you can't. I Still can't. Calling. You know, we, we, we have to try and fight these things. Mm. Um, so, so in that sense, I, I'm, saying, I'm saying there can't be any support that you would expect because there is not empowerment from the from the backgrounds in mm. um, I've started to hear, you know, having been there with the Kony Kose Twai Bazali. I hear this from the students, like, ah, they just wanted us to do less courses Abazali, which yeah. is nursing, yeah. this and oh, that and okay, that. No, you know, you know what I mean? So 
I'm like, wow, so because because the parents are not empowered themselves. Mm. But it doesn't mean nah, boy, they don't have love for their kids, but it's just like they just don't know better. Lack of understanding. Yeah. yeah. You yes. know. Yeah. And and you find okay, then then education as a whole just gets compromised mm. because Education is supposed to, 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 to cater for a whole lot of things. It, it's supposed to, to, to create better citizens. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, to create you know, people that have empathy um, just at that level, just to be civil and, 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 and all of those things. And then, and then, and then you, you can't even be talking about us as people that know what respect is. Mm -hmm. If respect means just folding your head and mm -hmm. just going cow down and, mm -hmm. and be like this. It's not the There's respect. There's a different hue. You know, yeah. Our respect is so acted, you know, CIA actor, mm. and, and it's about cowing down your shoulders and just crumple and just be nothing. It's funny you say that. I've always you know? uh, questioned <clears throat> why is it that my form of showing respect means I must lessen myself? Why must I shrink myself to uh, show you that I respect you as a person? Uh, I like that uh, you said that. I don't, uh, I don't fucks with it. Uh, yeah, so I don't we, peeps with we, it. we need to look at, at <laughs> that's what education should give us. Education should lift us, it should elevate us, mm. it should also give us, you know, some of the softer sides of what humanity is about it, it, it you know we should have empathy we should mm. we should love the environment we shouldn't litter i yeah. mean litter is so much in mm. in, in the south coast mm. such a beautiful mm. place with mm. so much green but i mean my first time driving here from from port chapstein to to gamala it was like i just had to look on each side of the road mm. As there's litter all over, yeah. yeah, and you could tell it's stuff from the cars. <clears throat> yes, and it's your Coca-Cola bottles, mm. it's your chips, mm. it's all these perishables, yes. these people, Rappers, that, things yeah. that people eat. And I'm like, wow, aren't we supposed to be part of this tourism? And 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 as black people, how are we going to be part of this mm. if mm. if 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 we don't have that sense of of of, of fellowship with 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 nature and the environment? Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, at the school, we, there's, there's hospitality, there's tourism uh, as well. Um, but I'm like, oh, what is it that we're teaching? I mean, that department should be also be involved in the want, community you know. mm. as well and try and conscientize the community, you know, in terms of what it is, you know, that is our gift, mm. you know, the earth, the environment. It's mm -hmm. our gift. I mean, we need to interact much, way, way better than we do now. That's true. Especially in a place like this that is like a haven for some, <laughs> yeah. but hellhole for yeah, some. Yeah, it's a trap it's, for others. People you know? feel stuck here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People feel very you, stuck here. It's so sad. So, so speaking know? of tourism, um, <clears throat> I know you toured the Spain. Yeah. Okay, who are you touring with? Uh, can you explain? I was touring with, with Soweto String Quartet in Spain. Okay. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, we did like touring on the road, on the bus, and we toured pretty much the whole of Spain from St. Sebastian to Granada. So how is their reception to music uh, compared to here? Like, how? How is their reception to music? And well, it's, 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 it's basically because some cultures really teach the arts, you know, they really invest on the arts mm. um, quite early. And, and, and so shows, are, uh, they pack up the shows. Um, if, if they want to, to fellowship with musicians from, from outside of their culture, they invite them, you know. Um, I mean, I remember we did, we did gigs in, 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 in Paris, for instance, like at La Villette. It's a, it's a festival that's been going there for years. And I just asked around, who puts up this kind of festivals? Like, he said, no, this is the money from, from municipality. You know, we make sure that summertime, we want to enjoy ourselves because we've been dealing with like six months of snow. Mm. Yeah. And winter and people are so miserable. Yeah, I mean, you go over say. there, if someone gets like a, a patch of grass like this, they just sit there and enjoy the <laughs> sun the and have their, and then read their book. It's like, hey, I'm just like, going to enjoy myself because yeah. six months of winter was so terrible. I can imagine. Sure. 
So maybe with us, because we have the sun, we take it things for granted. We That's for why granted. we don't we don't value. We don't even go outside. You, you know We're these kind of things, doors. and mm. and so music and 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 gatherings and and fellowship and and interaction is such an important thing for other people. It has so much value um, that we don't see here because mm. we. We gather as and when we want because you know it's it's the sun is there it's up and mm. when we gather and go to church rather I mean church has got its own problems and how is the church going to to answer all of these social ills that we have yeah, yeah. that's true it will never it I will can't never answer all I mean, of them. I mean the role of the church from when it started it was like clearly defined you know for for certain things it's mm. like okay we we'll build the church you know. It's gonna go up that way, like you know, um, the music that you play in the church. It, it's supposed to 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 make you elevate, and mm, that's 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 why they vibration. created those those chants in mm. the in the Gregorian chants. It's mm. like you know, just feel like oh, <laughs> a tranquil space. You know what I mean? That kind of yeah. stuff. You know, mm. that's how they created. <clears throat> but now with our churches, it's like you can build a tent and then you call people in there. It's like, you know. And it's and a jam. <clears throat> but it, I mean, if you see those churches in Europe, they make you feel like when you go in there, you, you're nothing. You just want to crawl in there. <laughs> Lord, who am I? Yes. Mm. Because of how they it's build those structures, yes. they are meant to, to make you feel like that. Mm. You know? Mm. With us, it's like, ah, it's a song. Mm. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's who we are, but I mean, we also need to change how how we we behave around these churches. I mean, you know, yeah, they true. should they should add more. So yeah. you're born in King, and then you move to Johannesburg, and then you move to here. Yeah, three different scenes, three different experiences, three different times, and then Ukfengwa Kolana Kwabakona Amachaz evening. Where where did we get the jazz evening from? Wafiga, Wabonuguti, there's a gap. And then Nakala Nasebens and Nobani towards what? How did that start happening? You know, my first time when I came here, I used to, I, I saw that, that place, Des Roche, yeah. uh, the hotel. Des Roche, yeah, Des Roche. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I went there, man. I, I just knocked there. I was like, hey, man, I'm a musician from Joburg. I need a job, I need to play. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at the dining area there already, yeah. and I'm like, ooh, I can sit up there. Mm. And I knew my colleague at the school, he's a violin player. I'm like, oh, I can hear the sound, man. It's going to be so nice. Mm. They said, no, no, mm. eh, yeah, we will call you. Wada, 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 wada. It, it, somehow it just didn't happen. Mm. Um, and then I put out a show in, at, um, at um, what's this place? At, at St. Michael's. Yes. Okay. We had no PA system. We were running around trying to get PA system. Um, a lot of people came. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's gonna work. Some other people even called me and said, hey man, if you need some lights, we can help you. Mm. Mm. So I put out another show. I called Siama Kuzeni from Joburg. Mm. I remember she missed her flight, but she made it. She came. Mm. Man, I've never been so frustrated in my life. I mean, I brought guys from 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 Durban as well that came to play with me. There was mm. two people. What year was this? <laughs> you can remember. Two thousand. It was. It was. It was. It was now 20, 2015, 2016. Mm. Yeah. There was two people in the audience. I mean, I was playing, thinking that there was going to be people coming. I'm telling you, man, I I'd invited all these people. One was coming from Johannesburg. And then at some point I was like, oh, maybe I should, maybe, maybe, maybe not deal with this thing. And then I started, luckily I started getting my own gigs. Mm. I started traveling to, to Switzerland. Mm. And I did like gigs there and then twice. I mean, I did a recording as well. I was like, okay. And then there was Johannesburg, there was Orbit that was operating. And I was mm. like, okay, let me just focus on my thing. Mm. So whatever was happening, I would catch a, a shuttle here, market shuttle, five o'clock. Take a flight. Get to King Shaka, mm. go to Johannesburg, do a gig, mm. come back incognito, go mm. to school. Mm. You know, it's mm. like, okay, that's it. Mm. Until, until, until I, 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 but I kept coming here as well. Mm. And There's I something that kept, kept bringing you back. Yeah. Mm. But, hey, amen. So too. Maybe we could do something. And then on that Ben Tusha exhibition, then he started talking to us. 
I mean, I'm saying to us now because I was like, okay, it's me and the, and the students, you know, we yeah. are, it's us and them. So we started performing at the school. We started lunch our concerts at the school mm. and it used to pick up. A woman rapper used to come mm -hmm. there and all these guys, I mean, they messed up our pay system also, oh. those guys, because, <laughs> because okay. they used to, they used to bring in like, yeah, music on the system, like, yeah, it's like, mm. yeah, and then, it, I mean, first, first, first minute, one, and they're already looking at us like, crank it up. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, our system is messed up. We don't have a sound system anymore. Mm. And I really, I truly believe it was those guys that messed us up, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're very Fine. bad guys, man. You know, <laughs> there's something wrong there. There's something uh, wrong there about those guys, about man. It's like, mm. you know, I mean, mm. just, I mean, the beginning of a song, you wanted to crank up as well. Like, uh, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> just, just let, just, you know. So we started, we started, we started, you know, we retreated and we started doing our own thing and then, and then COVID hit us. Ish, yeah, no. And then we regrouped, we came here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, and yeah, I mean, we use this place, this space here, we have our Kahoon, because we believe in acoustics, mm. you know, we believe in that. And, and, and I saved this piano from, from, from Uvongo Hall. It was uh, like in, in bad shape. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, no, let's let's just bring it here. And I mean, it's 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 going to be the centerpiece of this place. Now. I'm trying to remember whose episode we were shooting the day the piano was being serviced. Do you guys remember? Oh, was it Nosy? It was, it was Maples. Yeah. Maple. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Yeah. So you saved this baby. And what are your intentions with it? Because I know with the jazz nights, um, there's always a piano. You're always there leading with the orchestra. Um, yeah. So, what's your plan? What's your plan? Because it's looking very sexy, and I'm sure you see sound as sexy. Plan, it will be safe uh, you. Well, we, we, it still needs to be redone and, and, mm. and other things, but it's also another situation. I mean, playing with the, on this, this piano, it's like okay, it it probably serviced a certain, you know, Abelungu that used it properly for what they were using it for. Yeah. Mm. And it's, it, is, it is yet to, to make music for us. Yeah, it's pending. Yeah, it's like it still has to make music for us now that we're in power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever power you want to look at it, you know, flimsy or whatever power that it is, you know. Yeah. It's such an instrument that, it, I mean, it is like that now. It's, mm. it's, it's, it's like, yeah. I'm just uh, remembering uh, we've picked each other's brains before and you told me a story about how you had a band from Switzerland uh, that was here. You remember that night we were working oh, yeah, on a deadline because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you were telling us a whole lot of stories <laughs> and you were speaking about how you had a band here yeah. and you yeah. had to go out and search for people to come yeah. and, you know, spectate. Uh, how frustrating is that? Yeah, I was, I was going up and down there by, by the keg and, and I was like asking people, so, hey, guys, come, this... this, this there's musicians from Switzerland, from Switzerland, and, and down at the, at the, what's this place? Uh, Where we're playing Zuri. at at Zuri Bar. Mm. You know, I was like, oh, okay, I see Sophia. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I even later. asked my taxi taxi <laughs> friends. I mean, taxi guys. You know, that was just sitting there waiting for me. I'm like. You guys, you're not going to get any, any, any customers. <laughs> 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 just go and park your car there. I yeah. mean, it doesn't matter. Just come yeah. and watch these people. I mean, they're here. They Might just well. want to, you know. Hmm. And I mean, I would stand outside and look at that. You see them in those buildings, you know. Yes. And then the thing is also down there. Yes, the and those scenery. lights. And I'm like, how it's wonderful waste. this is. I mm. mean, it's such a waste. And then and they, they played there. I mean. They enjoyed themselves. I mean, you know. Konji said it was you, Ma Zanele, and who else? It was me, it was Zanele, and, and Ramahuta, Ramahuta with, with, with two colleagues from, from Crestin. Mm. And that was it. Mm. So it was a private show. Yeah. Yeah. But we had, we had nice uh, seafood platter. Yeah, no. And you didn't have Bravo. to share it with two Bravo. people. Bravo. I mean, we also called the chef. I'm like, wow, you yes. are so great. I mean, I remember we were eating like it was in the dark because the, somehow the lights right, weren't yeah. working out there. So mm. we had our telephones and, you know, just thing. like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dig, dig in, dig in, dig in. You know, I mean, we didn't want to go inside. I yeah. mean, it was just going to be so 
Yeah. Inside of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inside you <laughs> and, That's and totally too empty. Word, you know, we just dealt with the outside. So, Mr. Enana, I want you to check. You're a busy man. But how do you find the balance? Because you have to usalen a family. Ustolan in his cats, usalen a family. Because yes, you can be busy traveling around the world. Usalen you guy, you're doing good. Everyone's like, yeah, Mr. Enana is there. I'm going about. But equality time with your family. When the animals are scattered, yes. Um, well, I mean, you know, ever since I started staying here, um, I mean, my first apartment here was was amazing. When did you move to the south? Twenty fourteen. Okay, okay. So you've been here for five years. Yeah. This yeah. is your fifth year. Have you been counting your anniversaries here? 2014, I thought it was seven years already. Oh, yeah. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. What year are we in? Six. 2021. Yeah. Okay, no. 2017 is yeah. fact. Guys, I did math lids. Just leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I moved into a nice place. You know, there was the beach like right there. I mean, in front wow. of me, I mean, I would wake up and I'd see the water. Like, it's oh, like, oh good morning, Ocean. This is, I mean, I can't compare this to mm. any experience mm. that I've ever had in my life, you know. And I would go to Margate there and you know, grab a beer there and, and uh, have a burger and look at the people there. I'm like, oh man. I remember calling my <laughs> friends and the first week I came here, I'm like, man, it looks like I'm on retirement. This is it, you know. Yeah. Um, so, and then I was getting gigs in, in Johannesburg, but every time, I mean, you know, somehow I would be on the first flight out. Mm. And, and I'll party in Joburg, you know, after the gig, go to bed at maybe 3 a.m. And the people are asking, what time is your flight? I'm like, my flight is 8 o'clock. They're like, you're never going to make it. But somehow, I was, every time I'm leaving Johannesburg to come to the South Coast, I'm like, yeah, I'm up, mm. you know. Mm. And it was such a joyous occasion every time, you know, you land in King Shaka and then you take that shuttle and you drive. drive. The drive. Yeah. Marine drive, yeah. seeing the coastal sea. <laughs> Even if you sleep and yes. you wake up and mm. you see all this. Still see the ocean though. Doesn't matter yeah. when you wake up. So it, it felt good coming home yeah. every time. Yes. So yeah. I've always had that kind of thing, you know. It's like mm. coming home has always been good ever since mm. I came here, Yeah. you yeah. know. Um, and I don't have like a big family. It's mm. just me and my partner. Okay. I don't have kids, mm. so no. All right. I mean, the kind of I mean, I've got kids at the school. I mean, yeah. they're not mm. even kids. I mean, they're yeah. old. Yeah, old, you've you got know. kids filming you right now. So <laughs> I I, I, I deal with that. Kind of, <laughs> I mean, it's enough. Yeah, it's yeah. enough for it's me enough. to like yeah. keep me grounded. So when I'm home, you know, I read books. I mean, I started attacking those books from from bargain books and um, like. Sanele asked me, like, why are you reading this? Why don't you read, like, politics and self-help books? And I'm like, no, I just read <laughs> fiction. <laughs> you know, I've got tons of it, you know, just mm. to escape and just go into another space. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, I love reading for that. And, that then I, and, I, and I practice, play piano, mm. and, and, and then that's it. And then, you know, we, wow. we take walks. We discovered Sweet Dale now. Yes. yes. So, oh, um, well, there was one other thing. It's, it's now that I'm settled, then I'm able to, to invite my friends to come over. There's a whole lot of them that still want to come. Mm. And it started with Dumza, who came, Maswana, he came, and then he just was asking if I could produce his album. And I'm like, okay, we can do it, but come over and stay with me for, for a while. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then I just you know, get to see what it is that you want musically. Um, and then in that in that sense also I was able to like you know just lash, unleash him on on, on, the, on the students mm. Mm. just to see you know to benefit from what he's doing and and it 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 it, it worked I mean perfectly we had like three days of, of, of rehearsal mm. and fellowship and then we ended up performing here and then a month later I went up to Johannesburg to do the album the mm. album is, is is pretty much finished yeah mm. and then straight after that gig, I got a call from MXO, MXO was like, hey man, I want to come over, right? And he came, and then another call from Nico Poco, who's like a visual artist, mm. I mean, I've the known music him painter. for years. Yeah. That's know. episode five, Moments in Time. You know, our, our album cover with, with the band that I, I, I worked with, Voice, was done by Nico Poco in, in 2005. 
sure. now 2002 he did our first um mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so we've been like wanting to work together and then you know until until this time he says hey man you know come over and he also went to the school with Mac, with mxo and he did the workshops mm -hmm. and we showcased here yeah, um, there's more of these friends of mine that will be coming mm. to come and be here with me in the space. So, okay. how true is it that at some point you used to paint? <laughs> no, I, 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 I didn't. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. No, it wasn't. <laughs> 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 um, not painting. I just like to draw. Okay. Mm. But then I moved from drawing like portraits to to just doing like any Doodles. things. Mm. And and I, I and I remember I showed it to to Sozu and he, he looked at it and he said, You doodling. And I was so discouraged. <laughs> 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 you know, I still have to take like it that. that up with him, you know. <laughs> because there was a time when I was just like into that when I mm. when I first came here. I was mm. like really real. I would spend hours and hours. I mean if you go to my house every, there's a piece of paper that you find that I've done something with it. Mm. You know, I mean, if I'm, if I'm having like a meeting with someone, then I'll pick up a paper and I start, you know, yeah. doing things and stuff like that. So, um, I'm yet to pick it up formally and, and get some proper training. You know, I, I really believe in, in mm. I need to get training. I mean, it's there. And, and, and the fact that I'm drawn into this kind of spaces now, it's like, kind of yeah, like there's something that is just going to come out really that that needs to be you know mm. you know to, to be mm. yeah. so you're a pianist a teacher a composer a producer Me? what what no. a, a vast and versatile no. uh, there's so much Talented. that you could speak about because no. even with any question we ask you you just go right in mm. and mm. last month how was it for you? How was the experience finally getting to work with MXO and Nico, bringing them here, having them here for a week, that workshopping process? How did your students mm. take that? Because the night itself was amazing. Oh, man. I mean, we, oh, man. it's changed our lives, man. I mean, mm. I, the students, I mean, I, I remember one of, one, of the, one of my students, the one that you like, Umbali. <laughs> Umbali, oh, Umbali, Umbali did, did the exam afterwards, mm. after, after this experience, Yalan. Mm. And I was like, wow, Mbali. I mean, I, I nearly gave her like total mm. because she was like really performing. She was like, you know, I'm like, Mbali, what happened to you? She says, man, after the experience with MXO, mm. I'm like finding myself and I'm mm. like, I'm, I can see that I'm a performer. Mm. That's you know? beautiful. And I'm seeing this with a whole lot of other you know students of mine that you know it's, it's just a question of you know just exposing them to these people that have yeah. been in the industry for years mm. and it, it, it just takes that moment of them like kind of like realizing that yeah. he's a human and then and then and then after that you come and perform here in front of people mm. i mean <clears throat> she's, she's a young kid she's tall she's tall um <laughs> She, so I mean, first, first, first six months, first month she was there, she entered uh, Miss Kamalake and then mm. she won. I'm like, mm. who is this one? Mm. That's Miss Kamalake. And, then, yes. and then, and then, and then, and then she started doing the work. I mean, I mean, singing and everything, like the voice is amazing. Yes. But I looked at her leadership skills. I mean, everybody, all the students i mean in their class kind of gravitated towards her yeah. just this tall guy yeah. you know. mm. she has quite an aura she has quite and a then, do you remember her <clears throat> and then and then the kind of songs that i was picking up for her to do i mean there was like difficult songs that are sung by you know um, veteran musicians yeah. you mm. know and she was like dealing with them like this and i'm like wow and i remember the the, the the rehearsal that we did the last rehearsal before the show we did everything that night with, with MXO and everybody, mm. and everybody left and she remained. And I'm like, and I knew <laughs> that she just wanted to rehearse for the last time for, mm. her, for her song. Mm. I'm like, oh, there you are, you wanna rehearse? She says, yeah, I wanna rehearse. Mm. And we did this wonderful piece, I mean, the one that we presented mm. here, it's yeah. a ballad. For me, I mean, I've played music for quite a while. To play a ballad, with a young person, 
chances are it might go like it might go south it goes south lack of you know soul, because lack because of lack of soul mm. lack of, of uh, and, you know mm. Mm. but she had all of that like tick all the boxes and i'm like wow goes and, pair. and then she was here and then she brought her family yeah you know, this. Mm. all the way from devon yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yes. And I felt so good. I mean, it's like, oh, okay, man, you know, I, I think I think it's good what we're having. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's happy mm -hmm. times for us now. I even yeah. like how you deal with your students. Uh, these are your little friends, essentially. Yeah. 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 But they're also your children. And yeah. you, you find a nice balance when you're talking to them. I'm more like, 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 I'm more happening in Kamuti, or some of the coast, or some being Abyss at Kong, or South Africa as a whole, but one thing that you wish to see mm, happening. Yeah. Because con experience on I from Europe, from states, but you wish with Ishias being at Angena Ekaya and then people by born. Oh man, I, 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 I it's not one thing, eh? It's it's just realizing oh, good, I'm a difference of experience with urban youth. Mm. And, and semi-rural, peri urban kind of yeah. youth. Hey, man, the, the difference is so huge. Eh? Mm -hmm. I never knew that it can be so huge. I remember, like, Uspe, with her friends, Ababini, Basepizan, mm -hmm. she was helping them with the computer. You know, they were trying to, to log in, to, to uh, register for next year and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, and, I mean, they couldn't help it, but they just had to say it. Look at, hey, man, we're not empowered with this thing. And I'm like, oh, man. Mm. And I asked Uspe, I says, and then you, what happened? Why are you so conversant about this stuff? He says, no, I mean, I learned it at home. Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. And, and, I, and I look at these kids and I'm like, wow, man. So, I mean, out of everything else that, that is so against them, the odds, Mm -hmm. And you're still having to catch up in terms of these geographical, um, you know, displacement. Yeah. It's so sad. Um, so having moved down here, I, 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 I really, 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 really want to with the situation. With the, if we can try and, 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 and breach this. Mm. This gap. Yeah. This gap, I mean, this is a wonderful work from someone from, from Ekamalake. Mm. Um, I mean, Ekamalake already as a township in the South Coast is like a milieu, a potpourri of a whole lot of people with ama dreams that are different yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. This good and the bad and the ugly mm. comes out of there. Yes. But at least it, 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 it does give ama opportunities for certain people to, to, to dream and... and, 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 and you know, I mean, it's not an ideal situation yeah. because, I mean, townships were not really created for us in, in mind. Mm. They were created for us in mind to thrive and develop and create better identities. Mm. It was just created, you know, for labor. Mm. We would, okay, we go, we come back, we go, we yeah. come back, we go, we mm. come back. None of the so to create, to create, to create uh, um, all these fundamentals of what a, a society that that is thriving I mm. and, and on top of it then you are away from the big cities where things are you know but then the thing is also this is another haven yeah this mm. is one because haven. it's the sea it's 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 the tourism it's it's I mean, we can just focus on this the youth here can just look at this as a treasure yeah. and say man we just want, want, want to welcome the whole of South Africa, the whole world, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. say, you can mm -hmm. come in here. You know, we live like Jaman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Free-spirited mm. Just free-spirited and, 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 and don't even want to be like, like yeah. in Johannesburg. No, no. We don't want to be yeah. like in, 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 in Durban or wherever, you know. Just deal with this environment here and empower yourself with this because mm -hmm. it has empowered a whole lot of people mm -hmm. that know what it is, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. about about 
the, the power of the nature and an environment, you know. Mm. Okay. So, um, if we want to, example, let's say, um, like, Kufun was more about Mr. Yenana and the more projects are okay. Um, like one on one session, all those things. Well, um, I'm on Facebook, but I'm trying to pull out a little bit. I think I've said enough of what I had to say on mm -hmm. Facebook. Oh, okay. I'm kind of done with it. Mm. But I mean, for work and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's there, Andile and Nana. Um, you know, some beautiful people have set me up on Instagram as well. Or yeah. Bianca and them. Yes. So, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, but I mean, I can't even keep up with that too. It's like mm. you have to upload fresh yeah. pictures. I think you just yeah. need to fresh hire con me to write Fresh Instagram. content and everything. I just it's, don't have I always too much. I mm. think. <laughs> you know, I just don't, you know. So I'm there. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, and then, and you know, I'm in my phone. Mm. Mm. You know. <laughs> what's the name of your page on IG? And what's yeah. the, no, you have another umgo, one umgo, on Facebook. Umgo Abantu, you know, which is, which is um, the concept that, Started, started, started when when I was doing gigs at the Orbit. You know, they they, they normally used to ask us what it is that you want to put out, to, you know, so that so that the patrons know exactly what it is that you know they can come from. Mm. And then I just came up with this thing, Yomungungo, because then I, I was <laughs> like, oh wow, it's 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 something that I I I mean I was working with young musicians even then, mm. and it was like, okay, we share our ideas, let's just get together and just you know just express ourselves and see what what comes out of it. Mm. Um, it's not confined to anything um, specific. Uh, it's just that just a creative space that we can just harness amongst ourselves and mm. just you know the output. You know, I mean, I remember when I it's one of the gigs that I did there. I saw I saw this one girl that was at our department. Oh, I just forgot her name. She was she was a graphic design student and she was working at the at, at the club at wow. the Orbit. Mm -hmm. She was like, I'm in here, here you are. I'm like, oh wow, you here, you working here as a waiter. I was like, yeah, I'm here. I'm like, wow, man, you're gonna gain so much experience because I mean you're dealing with all sorts of people there. Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to the people at the at the club, I mean the owners. I'm like, this person is a graphic designer, I mean, she's a painter, she does all these things. She probably it, didn't even market that part of it. Yes, herself. no, she didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, on my show, I wanted to go on stage and paint whilst we play. Mm. And she spent like 45, the whole set actually, she was there painting. painting. Mm. That's beautiful. And That's cool. she sold the painting uh, yeah. to some of the patrons that were there. Mm. Um, what so what that that's all part of what Ungungo band is yeah. about. It's, yeah. it's, it's you know whatever we can express, you mm. know, you know, mm. in, in the spoken word, in, in you know, in the visual art, and, mm. and even I mean dance. I mean you know we, we still need that. Yeah. There's a guy here that used to do dance with us. He was at the department, mm. um, and somehow he disappeared. And the next thing I saw him, he was wearing like a security guard uniform. It's not Fiso. Yeah, she, 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 she yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing see. energy. Yeah. I'm like, mm. ah. At some point, I'm like, do I greet him? Need will I be creating? Will I be creating some friction mm. for him mm. to like, yeah. you know? And yeah. I just like kind of hid. I'm like, okay, let me just, you know, because mm. mm. I, I just didn't believe that he ended up there. Yeah, mm. yeah, you know. Then, when can we expect another one? Does it happen once every month, once every two months? What, what's, when can we expect another one? Uh, well, we were supposed to do something this, this, uh, this um, June, um, given that you know, normally it's supposed to be the chairs, mm. ugu thing. Mm. And I felt that you know, there's no way that we can let this month just go mm. without having done anything. Yeah. And then, well, Sim Tembile did this exhibition, and yeah. we, we came and played. And, I, and mm. uh, in the spirit of what ugu jazz and yes, yes. was supposed to happen, mm. you know, we tried to do something. Yeah. Um, this 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 month, you know. That makes um, sense. But next month, I'm hoping Oguti, I could bring Oindwe Indwe. Um, you know that you know she could come and spend time with the students as well, and then we, we showcase here. Yeah. Um, but there's other people that that will be coming through, and 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 you know we just need to, you know, to get the dates right so that we can like you know over yeah. time okay. have a full program. You know. 
I just found something exciting. What did you find? <laughs> okay, Blizzard found it, but I'm taking credit. Okay. Uh, there's a song by Oh Joey Badass featuring J. Cole yeah. that samples. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's sure. like. What? Yeah. Which song is that? Yeah, Tim Bisa. Samples Oba BNM. Yeah, but what's the title of the song? Cause it's called Legendary. Song. I didn't check that. It's Legendary. It's well, you it's said you found something. Mm. Like, tell us all the deeds. My okay. bad. That's yeah. dope. That is really yeah. dope. So you see, we, we draw from people like you. And wow. we, we like we like yeah. to have Abandaba and Jingawa on the show because you have a different context from a different time in history and you've seen the world become what it is. Mm. And in, in you seeing it, you, we as we see music, and we want to find all of those things out. I'm a gems, as we say on moments mm. in time. I'm a jewels. Mm. For me, okay, no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. The no. <laughs> like, thing is, I was still excited about the song. No, I wanted to find out more about how did that happen. Yeah. And how do you feel like when your sound is being incorporated in what the young people are actually doing? Backfire we like Man, it, it, <laughs> Well, I had I had that thing from 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 a young guy. It's like, hey, Bryce, did you hear what your song was sampled by? You know, Joey Badass. I didn't even know him. I was like, okay, let me check him out. J. Cole. Um. Yeah, he. he I mean, I, I I listened to the to the video that he that he, that he put out. It, you know, badass, how he got the music, you know, he's like, yeah, man, I got this music from Africa, man. And, uh, Africa. Uh, <laughs> it was a good groove, a good joint, you know, and I felt that, you know, it would work for yeah, me and stuff like that. Way. So I changed a little bit. It was in 5-4, mm. and then I changed it in 4-4 and then stuff like that. So, yeah, mm. it's our song. We still need to get paid. Yeah. Um, the fight is on. We're dealing with the record company. I will. Um, it it was it was out when 2018. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Royalty, um, royalty, I'm, I'm royalty. still waiting for the royalties, but we're discussing, you know, with, oh, with, with okay. different people. I, so no, they're gonna come. They're gonna you know, come. I might oh, get a so nice pet for all. myself here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> yeah, it was a good thing, man. It was a good thing to know. I mean, a lot of the young people that have seen me, I mean, all over South Africa, that mm. that always come to go to that. And it's like, mm. hey, how does it feel to you know for mm. this? I'm like, okay, man, it feels great. I mean, <laughs> but. I just need to get the money, you, get you know, then that I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you've, you've done more than one TV work, if I'm not mistaken. Like what? more than the Sorry? TV show on SABC2. I forgot. What um, other TV it, work? It, 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 it was, well, I did, I did, I did gospel. I want to sing gospel. That's oh. how I first came to the South Coast, actually. Oh, okay. It was 2005. Yeah, we came looking for talent in, mm -hmm. in, in, in Uvongo Hall. I remember, and one of the people that was there, was Tenda Mavunla. Oh, I think I remember I, that. I yeah. remember at Tuvong, it was just the three of us. Mm. Um, the camera guy and I was, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was the judge. Adjudicator. The adjudicator. And then the other, the other guy was the older guy who was just like overseeing the whole thing. Mm. Um, it was a project Yaga Linda Lan in Kise with, um, with, um, what's that, what's that TV thingy, um, the company? Um, that did Lily Zella um, in Randberg. I just forgot, just forgot the name. Yeah, but I did that one, um, and then I did Lily Zella. Um, you know, yeah, about two, two, um, two. Um, mm. You know. Um, so, no. <coughs> what can we expect from Mr. Yenana coming? Yeah, well, with the year coming and everything, <coughs> what are you currently working on? What projects? Uh, what's 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 exciting? in that direction? Well, I've, you know, I've started to, to look into these fundings now that are happening. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. um, there's opportunities with Lotto, there's opportunities with Concert SA, mm -hmm. uh, Mobility Fund. Yeah. Um, I did try and apply for this venue to be subsidized on a monthly basis mm. That's by, cool. by, by um, Concerts SA. Mm. But they said because, because of COVID, um, they won't do that. But then they urged me to apply for the virtual live streaming thing. That's why yes, I was yes, able yes. To, to do that gig with MXO. Mm. But I mean, going forward, 
um, they have that funding to subsidize venues that like are on the route for the musicians to to play. To pro yeah, yeah. Um, for instance, when they come to KZN, there was a route that they used to take and they would go to Pine Town, there's a place there, and then go to the chairman and then go to Natal University mm -hmm. and then they would go back. Mm. And then my thing was, you hit Durban, you hit Peter Marisbeck, then you might as well hit South, South Coast. Coast yeah. And then and then you might as well go to the Eastern Cape and mm. go to Miramakeba with Ndudusa. So yeah. this is an ideal spot for that kind of um, stop, mm. you know, when the musicians do their, their tours. I hopefully agree. when when COVID is, is hopefully when we all vaccinate, mm. then we will be able to. It'll be easier to do Yeah, this type and then of thing. this will be the, the hub Mm. Of, of of what um you know mm. great stuff happen. mr kuz yeah. great stuff great stuff i know uh I, i'm done yeah. are you, done? you look like you're deep in thoughts like wow <laughs> no, no, so no, no. i'm just thinking it all in i'm like okay yeah cool. yeah cool, 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 it cool. looks like we have a lot of work to do on the south coast artistically mm. quite a lot Mbo? i know it's, it's I not give you an day and to share okay. information yeah okay um past Present and not to molest from the money discovered what he has not focused on to our Aminagi singer, and that's it. Fuck the corner, the slash and business side, mm -hmm. so that Uzo Bakley, our man, and Connie Davis, it would back claim good. Mm. There's someone of what I can't if more musicians would like, Yo, dog, I mean, I have all yeah, touches and just but there's something in front of it all. So at least. And that's not fun with whatever that you do. That's not focus on doing that's focus on the slash and business side. Mm. So we found it cool, man. Yeah, but I'm cool. It's a Yeah, this has been really great. Uh, are there any closing words that you have um, advice, perhaps, for the youth or anybody who's looking towards the music industry and journey? Um, words of advice. Um, normally for the youth, I really try and reserve my. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the ones that are closest to me, that I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I feel responsible for. Yeah. But I believe every generation has got its own voices. Very true. And and they they always rise and and they always in, you know inform what that generation mm. you know will want to go. You know, I mean, the direction they go. Mm. And for for me to try and be giving advice to that generation I, you fall short somewhere. i fall short because i just don't because then you you sound like you bitter <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> because okay. that's what that's what older folk do when when they give they're given those kind of you know platforms Platform. that say something to the youth like yo in our time it used to be like this and it, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And it's like it, <laughs> so it's like i don't want to be in those kind of spaces i don't want to be in those kind of situations I believe every generation has got has its own start, leaders. Yes. It's got its own visionaries. Yeah. Uh, deal with your own, you yeah. know, and move on. That's, awesome. That's you still know, advice. Um, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do but you? also at the same time, don't be antagonistic, antagonistic towards the elders. Yes. Mm. Because, you know, if it's a reflection of, of elders that have not taken care of their business, it doesn't mean all the elders you yeah. know, uh, are, are like that. There's, there's, there's a whole lot of us also that are like, you know, looking out for, for other things that, that are, you know, about edifying the space and, 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 and finding solutions for, for all of us to just move and elevate and, you mm. know, get mm. into it. That's really beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Mr. Yena. Yeah. on Instagram and Facebook. Check out those pages, um, Facebook especially. That's where you'll find everything there. Sir, you need to hire me <laughs> so I can help you <laughs> so with the Instagram. Yeah. Did not mean? Mungwabantu and Dilayenana on Facebook. Ungamtola konage DM. Be there professionally. Ningam Shupi. As you heard, he's weaning off of the socials, so let it be an important reason that you're DMing him. And of course, you can find Mr. Kuss. At Kus Diverse, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Yonkin Dawo, Mr. Ngalo, and then Mr. Man Mtembu, at Man Mtembu, Mr. Monate on Instagram. Could you tell Facebook, Usa? Uh, Facebook, so 
Oh, but in South Africa, I don't even want to know. It's not my, it's not my sauce. It's not my <laughs> cup of tea. And me, you know what it is. At indeed B, indeed underscore B, B I E, not B E E. Uh, and then my main account, bitter underscore B I E. Guys, it's been a great time. It's been a great time. And you know what it is. Next time, soap in this boy. Season one is almost wrapping up, guys. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for season two. But sobo nagala. Next time, flip side. Mr. Man, sign out. Sign up, man. Et man im tembi on kin dao soslangana. Second enough. Mr. Ku, sign out. Peace. Shout out to my mom. Peace out. Next time, it's a wrap. So what you living for?